Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. And as you can see, we are joined by the wonderful Lucy Hennessy from Qualitex. Lucy, hello. Hello. Oh, right? I like the double-handed way. Yeah, That's nice. Yeah. Nobody's ever done that before. <laughs> nice to be original. And, and today, you are going to show us not one, not two, not three, <laughs> but four Mother's Day designs. I am, That's definitely. That's value for money right it there, is, everybody. Definitely. Value for money. Um, so uh, a Mother's Day medley. Mm -hmm. Shall we call it? Excellent. All right, let's just get straight into it. And I'm going to move these bits of feathers from previous filming. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're just going to do a simple um, design based on this um, raffia box. Mm -hmm. We've got lovely colours out there. I was, do we sell these? You do. You sell them. I so really should pay more attention to what And yellow <laughs> and blue. I was really stuck what colour to go for because I like them all. So, all yeah. right, well, you chose the green. Okay, so all I've done um, inside is the H technique with the stretchy balloon tape. Yeah, yeah. Okay, with a, a 160 Q. Um, I've taken your bridesmaids bouquets mm -hmm. and I've actually used one and a half of these just to make it a little bit fuller because okay. we want it to sit. Full in okay. the um, that looks nice, that back. looks like a real bride's bouquet, doesn't it? Yeah, so I've just you can see I've just added in extra ones using the 160 cues. Yep. Okay, so with the 160 that I've got here, I'm just going to place my flowers in here and mm -hmm. I roughly want to find the middle so I know where that's going to sit. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to take my 160, I'm going to fold and roll the foil, okay, and I'm going to keep it quite tight. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I was, yeah, I've been playing with this design. So have you just made this up? Is this, is this an original Lucy? Uh, maybe, yes. Okay. I've done it once before, yeah. But Go maybe, for it. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, so again, uh, this this comes out, so you could um, call glue glue in that. Cool, cool glue glue. Can't say it. Go on, yeah, something glue to do with glue. Cool glue, glue gun glue, it. Cool glue, <laughs> glue gun it. That's, That's it. It's quite hard to say. Yeah. Cool glue gun it. That's it. Right, say it okay. five times quickly. <laughs> so I'm just going to cool slide the 160 Q through the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to take the 160 back down into the design. I'm going to wrap it around one of the stems. Okay. Okay. And what you could do with this as well, and what you should do, is you can sort of glue the outsides of the, the flowers in yeah. as well. So that just in itself is quite That's nice. Simple. Like it? Yeah, and we can definitely, yeah, definitely glue that in. But it, all the colours work really well okay. together with a new, new foil. Very okay. good. So thinking of quick designs. So is that design number one? Design number one. So simple. Told you it was quick. You said in and out, and that was definitely in and out. There we go. Okay. So we've got um, four inch, um, sorry, four 11 inch rows to seven inches. Yeah. Sand weight at the bottom and three and a half pink. Yep. Tied neck to neck. And there's four pink, there's not three and a half. Hey. Three and a half inches, Three and a half everybody. inches, it's all about the inches. Okay. So we've got one, two, six to Q uh, tied on top. Bring that in. So again, we're using another um, new bloom. That's a nice bloom. It is. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're picking oh, up the daisies. I like the daisies. Mm. That's a song, isn't it? Picking up the daisies. Is it? I don't know. It's singing. Oh, it. uh, no. <laughs> okay. Ring a ring of roses, isn't it? No. Oh, I don't know. Ring a ring of roses, pick up the daisies. I don't no, know pick, no, pose, yeah, ignore me. I don't know what you're on about. No. <laughs> Too much oh, These are nice, I like these. Crazy little leaves. It's yeah. Fine. Okay, so just a normal 260Q flower, and I will fully admit I'm not the best twister in the world at all, but um, I can make a flower, she says. It's a bit of a disclaimer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to twist. But um, yeah, I do a little bit, but not nothing because what a twister oh, would do. Some flowers. Yeah. So okay. So two sixty Q. I've let some air out, and I'm just going to make small little loops. Okay, I'm bringing the two um, two sixty through the hole. So I'm going to keep the same size yep. each time. I'm just going to do these balloons here. They've got six petals on. Okay, so I'm going to do six petals, folding it all into the middle at each time. And there's different ways of doing flowers. Um, you can do like the sausage technique and all others, but I'm just going to do this one. What's the sausage technique? Where you get sort of three rings and then you turn, you know, you know that sausage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's probably a name, but I don't know. I'd call it a sausage technique. Okay. So that's our flower. Just going to trim the end and bring that round and tie off. And then five inch, again, you could use a 260 if you wanted to in the middle. I'm just going to use a five inch yellow. Oh, Downsize, because we're picking up the yellow in the centre on the blue, bringing it around. Okay, and then a half of a 260 Q. 
It's going to take the air out of each side. Look at the speed you're doing this, Lucy. It's amazing. <laughs> Told you it was going to be quick, didn't I? Yeah. All right. Okay, so onto the back of the flowers. I'm going to wrap the 260. I'm just going to make a little duplet, like how okay. we normally would do. I'm wrapping them around. Now, on those daisies, you've got little leaves as well. So what I've done is taken a five inch balloon, yep. folded it and rolled it. So like you'd normally do like a, if you're going to do a fancy flower, you could do it that way. So just take your thumb and first finger. Fancy flower. Fantasy flower. Fancy flower. Fantasy flower. Fantasy, yes, we put the wires inside yes, the leaves. Yes. So I'm just going to pull it, you know, like we normally do with a 260. Yeah. I'm pulling it and it's going to stay. Oh, look at that. And then I'm just going to knot it. So uh, traditionally you might have bound with, with binding wire, but you don't need to. I'm just going to pull it through. It's quite clever. Give it up. And then tie. And then they should keep their shapes in. You could do it with an 11 inch if you wanted to make it a bit more um, yeah. pronounced. And then just pull those little balloons through. So you've got the little leaves. That's great. I like that little technique. Yeah. We've got some new product coming out that really matches as well with these. So, um, yeah, well, watch your space. Are? Watch this space. Can you not tell? I it's not been released. It has been released. And by this time, it will be released. Okay. Yeah. Oh. We've got some little daisy blooms coming out. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Cool. So, bring those through. Just make sure they sit flat. Very nice. And then just wrapping it through. So if this was obviously from Mother's Day, I'd high float these 260s as well. Yeah. So they're long, long lasting. And you can buy the little nozzles for the um, 260s. So even though high float is supposed to be to extend the helium float line of the balloon, mm -hmm. you can use it in a 260 and yeah. it just extends the life. Definitely, anyway. yeah. Mm -hmm. For quite a long time, I would have thought, because these air filled 260s would stay inflated for quite a long while anyway. Yeah, they? no, they would. But especially if you're doing it in display in your shop. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that one. You could put another one on top as well. You could. But we're going to leave it like that. Excellent. Okay. That's two. I mean, how many minutes in are we? Not I don't very know. Many. Yeah, two down, two to go. <laughs> this is great. Right, okay. Mother's Day. Okay, so we've got um, chrome purple, 11 inch size to seven and a half inch. Yep. Five and a half inch mauve with a sand weight at the bottom as well. Okay. We've got the 24-inch deco bubble butterflies around, yep. and I've put seven five-inch, sorry, seven seven-inch crane mixed crane. So this is what you're all sort of used to already. So as that is as well, it's, that's quite a basic design. So we're going to pimp it up a little bit. Okay. okay. So I think that's nice as it is, if you want. It to is, yeah. Because people don't really see this very often. No, it's different you price know, points, I mean. isn't it? Yeah, different yeah. price points. Okay, so we're going to showcase. Sorry, Meg. Yeah, I can new, pass things to you. Yeah, sorry. Um, butterflies okay. design. So these are really pretty. All of these colours match in with the, the yep. chrome really well, or you could custom colour them as well. And we've got the new butterfly. Is that supposed to be on there? No, I think just that's it. So we've got the new 36 inch butterfly. So yeah. again, we're going to air fill this. And um, what we're going to do is going to make an attachment point, stick it to the top of the bubble. I'm seeing butterflies everywhere, so I don't know if they're a trend this year. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've always liked butterflies. When the paper ones come out and the feathers mm. years ago, mm. they were really nice. Okay, so stretchy balloon tape again. You like your stretchy I balloon do. tape, don't you? I do. I was going to you use stretchy thought. balloon tape more than you do balloon bombs, I believe. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yes, there you go. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to anchor it to the it side. It says Julie on it. Have you nicked Julie's stretchy have, balloon tape? I don't tell oh, her. Oh, sorry, Julie. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't film. <laughs> Take a 260, fold the um, stretchy blue tape onto itself and back onto the bubble. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm coming away from it. Okay, and then we're just going to do a little cluster. You're not going to do an H on there? Does he not need it? You can do, but if you're quite confident with it, it should be okay. But I've I'm never seen put... anybody, I don't think I've seen anybody do the tape to tape thing. So uh, okay. I, yeah, I'll do it to take it off the, the pressure off the balloon. Yeah. So I'm going to do the H. Oh, you are going to do it. Okay. I'm going to do it. Look at me. I influenced you to change You did. Team. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hide our mechanics using seven inch chrome rose gold. That's called belt and braces, that is. It is, yeah, that's, that's definitely a Julie uh, talk. I can hear her saying that in her accent <laughs> in my ear. 
Okay. Oh, some braces. That's it. Actually, it's not, you're not quite like that, Julia. <laughs> not far off. So I'm downsizing the seven inch. I'm going to twist it around to get the bubbles. And this doesn't have to be exact. It can be organic if you wanted it to. So I'm keeping with the chrome. Yep. You could go slightly the pearls, pastel pearls would be quite nice with this design as well. So I'm just downsizing. I do like the finish. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And for me, I always um, high shine my chrome as well. You always what? High shine it? High shine it, yeah. Just to get the so shiny all the time. So just take the 260, wrap it around the top. Okay, and then with the butterfly, we're going to put the butterfly at an angle. So okay. I'm going to see where I want my tape to go. Oh, so I'm going nice. to put it onto the middle of the butterfly, the body of the butterfly. So again, 260. You're so fast at doing all this. <laughs> That's it. So this one, because it's a little bit squishy, the middle bit, I'm just going to really push that on. So we're introducing smaller foils now. Yeah. So if you do helium fill them, they're not taking as much gas. Ah, oh, makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to do the H on this one. Just because it's at middle point and it's not as firm as the, um, the outer, the wings. So you sell paper butterflies in here as well. They'd look really nice for this. Yeah. But I'm not going to raid your warehouse anymore. We sell little metal ones as well. They're quite cute. Mm, mm-hmm. Okay, so that's going in at the angle. Just going to wrap that around. Okay, and with the um, valve, I've just, I don't know if you can see it, Alex, just folded and rolled yeah. it. So you, just to hide the Fold mechanics the again. So trim your excess. Okay, so that's sitting quite nice there. And then we're just going to bring in the 18 inch foil in down to the bottom. Fold and roll again, and put that on. I like that. Yeah. So if there's different price points, and this would probably be the more, well, this would be the more expensive and yeah. time consuming. And you can add on and yeah. I love it. Personalise it as well. Best mum in the world, couldn't you? Indeed, indeed. Definitely. Look at that, and another, another design, three designs down, but you've got another one. Is this done? Is this done? It's I'll take done. it off. I'll take yes, it off. Okay, please. I'll put it there. Okay, last design, Greg. I like this. I like the getting through them like this. What? I've got one here. Is this what you're using? It will be, okay. yes. Sorry, okay. Ahead of it. So I've started to... Um, Let me show you. Love the chrome. Yeah, so we've got chrome rose gold to eight inches, and we've got chrome green to eight, in eight inches as well. Three clusters. Um, and then in between, I've custom coloured uh, standard dark blue inside a pearl light pink, uh, pearl light pink, pearl light blue. Okay. Okay. And then we've just done the, using Dacron, we're just going to place the balloons into the centre, making sure you really pull that tight. And I've gone to three and a half, because I want these clusters sitting really tightly together. I don't want any gaps. Okay, so rose, on, rose gold on one side, green on the other, mm -hmm. push down, do your figure of eight, and I'm just going to do a loop knot on the last one. Okay, so here you could put and make them into water weight or sand weights, or you could put um, weights in at the yeah. end as well. Yeah. Just trim that down. But by just by using those custom colours on the middle bit, we're going to be picking up the colours in our new foil. Okay. Okay, so this is similar to what we did on the um, Valentine's. Oh yeah, on the design. Live. Yeah, on the live. Yeah, using the Mother's Day. So we've got the blue picking out all the blues, and we've got the um, the dazzle open heart as yeah. well. You can have a look at that live. It should still be on YouTube somewhere slash Facebook. Definitely. Okay, so we could literally just pull this straight in. Okay, so if you're tight enough with your Dacron, you yeah. don't need a cluster in. Okay. So we're going to bring it around. And that's by, by using Dacron rather than a, a 260 or fishing line, it's going to um, pull in. I'm just going to put another bit on there because I, um, I use an off cut, I use a half rather than the full one. 
I'm just oh, attaching that on, letting the side down. Okay, so into the middle. Okay. Very so nice. that's sitting like that. We'll turn that around so you can see it. So we're going to finish off pink, picking up some of the roses that are on here as well. Yeah. Um, again, just up, so I, upselling your design really. So it's again, folded and rolled with our 260 cues, bringing it in, and I'm going to bring it in at an angle. So 260. Again, when you're using your 260s, use colours that are matching rather than the pinks that yeah. we've got. Okay, and then the last one. It's quite a big design. It is, yeah. And then. This is about actually saying offering different price points. Yeah. And, and what people want, you can so. make this smaller. You don't have to put everything on. The impact of that is far better than just an 18 inch helium filled foil saying, Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Yeah, definitely. And you only get mum, mum in the world, don't you? Mums are there to be celebrated, I think. I do. Okay, so again, you could put flowers in this if you've got more of yeah, a price yeah. point, but definitely weight that. Okay. Fantastic. Um, again, personally as well for me, I'd high shine the base. Yeah. yeah. Before we put the components on. That's amazing. Okay. That's the fastest four designs we've ever done. Really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I just put it down. Now, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. Oh, um, and I, I hope you've been prepped for this. I forgot to be honest. Okay, you forgot. In that case, you've got to come up with one on the fly. Okay. So, what's the question of the week? Um. God. It could be about anything. Anything. It doesn't have to be about the book. It doesn't have to be about the other thing. It could be about anything. I just want to know. Anything. Um. What's the longest balloon job you've ever completed? How long is it physically taking you to make something? So how many hours? How many hours? Yeah. Okay. What's the biggest build you've been on or the one that's taken you the most to make? What balloon job have you done that's taken you the most time? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Lucy, thank you for that. That was great value for money. That is four <laughs> designs in whatever that was, 10 minutes or something. That was amazing, but all really good sellable designs at different price points as mm -hmm. you say so thank you so much for that and thank you thank everybody out there for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show and check us out on instagram as well stay happy and and just stay positive and i look forward to seeing you all next week bye see you later